Hi guys, so firstly I just wanted to say I'm so sorry it's taken so long for me to make a new video. I've had a lot of personal commitments that have come up over the past couple of years which have made it a little bit hard to sit down and actually make these videos. Um, but I do still read your comments and I also wanted to say a big thank you uh, to you guys who have been posting comments. Um, they've just been so positive and so lovely so it's been awesome to read. Um, and also ones that have given ideas as well. So I do pay attention to that every time I make content for a new video. Um, it's awesome to just read through that and to see what you guys are after and then it helps me sort of structure what you need and, and to make the content for the new videos going forward. Um, so this video is just going to be short and sweet. However, um, you will have needed to watch my previous videos. Uh, the one on um, introducing yourself is really important. And then the second one on numbers would be a big help as well. Just so you understand um, when I talk about um, introducing how old you are, going from there, um, that will be a big help too. So make sure, you, sure you've watched that. Um, but this one will, as I've said, it's been, um, is going to be a great help for just using little sentences for a beginner having a conversation with a deaf person. Mostly just saying, uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. Slow down, please. Um, I don't know much sign language, that sort of thing. So this will be a big help for you if you're not so um, great with the whole sign language thing just yet. Um, again, this is Australian sign language. So uh, I've had a lot of comments of people confusing it for British Sign Language, or which is very similar. Um, and then American Sign Language is a big one. Uh, American Sign Language is very different. So just please don't confuse these. It's Australian Sign Language, Auslan. Um, so firstly, I think the number one sentence would be, I'm learning sign language. So I'm, it's just pointing to yourself with your index finger. I'm learning is your two index fingers together, pointing out together like that and then rubbing up against each other just like that so i'm learning and then sign is your hands are like this straight out fingers are a little maybe like a centimeter apart like that facing out and then you sort of just go in circles like that so i'm learning sign language is just two l's like that together with the thumbs together and then go straight out like that so i'm learning sign language and that's all uh the second one is i only know a little bit of sign language so i again pointing to your the center of your chest i know is the tip of your thumb just on the top of your um temple just there so i know little bit is just you sort of make a pinch symbol with all of your other fingers flat to your palm and just your fingers pinch just like they your index and your thumb at the corner of your chin there and then you sort of twist like that so I know a little bit of sign language which you guys already know um, the next one is I don't know sign language someone has requested that um, I teach them that sentence um, which I think would also be really helpful if someone comes to you and they're deaf and they're sort of trying to communicate and you're not sure um, so you'd say I sign point to yourself I don't is you sort of make the international symbol for okay but it's more pinched so okay is more that around this is you know more pinched at the corner there but it's facing out so again your index fingers are pointing out to the other person so you'd say I don't so you just move that to the side there. No more action needed apart from that. I don't, and then of course you guys know, no, sign language. So I don't know sign language. Otherwise, you could say, I don't understand. That's going to be another really important one for you as well. If the person's signing too fast or perhaps you don't understand what they're saying. I don't understand. So... You want um, your index finger, that's the only one that's pointing out, on an angle, and then you just want your um, fingernail to be on your temple again, and then you twist out like that. So you want the back of your hand to be facing them at the end of the sign. So I don't understand. And you wanna do that twisting motion just once. I don't understand. Um, the second one would be, um, I'm sorry, maybe you could, apologize if you're maybe signing too slow or whatever so you could just say i'm sorry so you just do that the twice and then you make sort of like a like a gripping sort of um claw sort of i don't know um 
motion with your hand, I suppose. So, but on the top of your face, just above from your mouth like that, sorry. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The next one is perhaps you wanna say you've learned sign language from YouTube. So you could say, I learn index fingers together, pointing out and just doing that. So I learn sign language from, so from is you start out like this, not straight up like that, or more of an angle. So it's curved, you see like that. And again, on the side, I learn sign language from, and you just make a little curved moment like that, from, and then YouTube is like, that's the American Y, and you pop that on your hand there, and then you do a little circle there. Do you see what I'm doing? So it's kind of like a Y, you can see that there, and you pop that on your hand there, YouTube, and you make a little circle. So I learned sign language from YouTube and they'll understand that you have beginner knowledge in sign language and you've learned it from videos on YouTube. Um, the next one is please slow down. This one I think everyone needs to know because people in the deaf community can sign very quickly um, and they can forget um, that you may not have as much knowledge of um, the sign language as much as they do. So slow down. So you go please firstly. So I've mentioned this in the past videos but the tips of your four fingers there thumb out like this and then go please so just down like that please sign slow and slow is just you sort of hold your hand out apart from your body and then you have the other hand on top of your wrist here and then you go slowly up your arm so please sign slowly so they'll understand if they're signing and you're not understanding because it's too fast you say please sign slowly and they'll slow down for you okay slowly just going slowly up your arm the next one is say again, please. So you just say sign, because say is sign for them, right? They don't speak it, they sign it. So whenever you say, whenever you see say, it's more sign. Um, sign, sign, again, is just you make sort of the peace symbol, but again, it's sort of directed straight out to the camera on the side there, and then you shake it. So sign, again, and you do that twice, again, it's got two syllables, so again, please sign again please the next one is nice to meet you i have already mentioned this in another one of my videos but i think it's also a really important thing for you guys to run through a few times so nice is you start off like this at the bottom of your chin hands uh, thumb up hands all the um, four fingers facing this way and you sort of swipe your chin like that ending in a thumbs up nice meet is all fingers down except for your index fingers and they come together so nice, meet. Imagine two people coming to meet each other for the first time, that's what I remember. Nice, meet, and then you. So for sign language, you um, sort of edit out all the little words. Like you wouldn't say, nice to meet you. You'd say, nice, meet you. You get to the point, get to the point a lot faster with sign language. It's sort of like texting, I like to think. Um, the next one is talking about your age. So I've already gone through the numbers in a previous video of mine. So have a look at that. If you're not sure of what your age is in numbers, that should be able to help you. If not, I can go through it again uh, and maybe we can make another video about introducing your age and things. So I'd say nice meet you. And then I'd say I'm and then 25. And then for age specifically, you want to go from the face. It's weird i know um but when you're talking about somebody's age you go from the face so they'll say like seven like seven years old but mostly it's like a sort of an easy way to talk about someone's age without saying years old you just say seven coming from the face um it's the same as telling the time when you're telling the time you go from your wrist like it's a watch so you'd say seven o'clock or eight o'clock ten o'clock um and you go like that um, whereas if it's from the face, it's usually representative of age. However, I believe for beginners, it's easier just to just to say the basics, say exactly what you mean, and then there's no way of confusion. So for me as a beginner, I would say I'm, so point to yourself again, and then 25, so 20, and then you want to just do a half twist there. So just off, off your face, 20, and then 5. 
Again, look through the video of the numbers so you can figure out what the numbers are and how they go around. But 25, and then you can say years is just Y, again, alphabet, but years is just doing the Y from the alphabet, years, and then old. So you make a hook with your index finger and your min middle finger, just like that, going down your nose. I like to think of sort of old age makes you have wrinkles and your face sort of, you know, wrinkling in on, its, on itself. So I'm 25 years old. Old, and that's how I like to remember it. Um, the second one is thank you for your patience with me. I think that's a, a big one as well. Um, if you're communicating with someone and obviously you're a lot slower than they are, it's a lot easier if you say at the end of it, thank you for your patience with me or the middle way through the conversation. So again, thank you is just your hand on the top of your chin. That's please. Remember, thank you is sort of the opposite of please. So you go, thank you. So again, it's the same as please is down like this. Thank you is out like that. So please, thank you. So you'd say thank you. And then you'd say for. So it's it's like doing the wish, the wish symbol. Um, but you just hold it out like that. So your index fingers are pointing straight out. But you do a flick. For. For. So thank you for your. So I went through this in another video. Mine. Yours. Yours. The heel of your palm. Just like that facing out towards other people all the fingers are sort of closed in so thank you for your patience patience is just thumb up hand on top of your chest going down thank you for your patience with me so thank you for your patience with so you want to do it like this and it's going to come together like that. So your thumbs are going to be overlapping at the end. That's what it should look like towards you. Um, and then your fingers are going to be overlapping like that. So just like that. And then it'll be with, with. Thank you for your patience with me. Or alternatively, if that's too much for you to remember in one sentence, just say, thank you for your patience. That's all you really need to know. Otherwise, thank you for your patience with me. It depends what you guys want to learn. But to be honest, um, deaf people will understand whichever way you say. Uh, it's a lot of contextualized um, in the conversation, right? So it's all to do with context. Um, the next one is, and the last one is, do you need help? So you just say you, and then need is the heel of your palm, just this part should be touching your chest on the right side if you're right-handed and then going down, need, need. Sort of ending with the tip of your, your thumb touching your chest, but starting off more here, so need. And your hands sort of splayed out just like that, need. Do you need help? Or you could just say, you need help. Or do is just hand like this, face out, do. Just like that, do. Do you need help? And help is just the tips of your four fingers, your left hand just like this, your right hand coming across on a bit of a diagonal angle, just like that. And then you do a bit of a, an arch sort of angle there. So do you need help? It's like you're providing aid to someone else, providing a hand assistance. Do you need help? All right, that's all I had for this video today. Uh, I hope that was really informative. Um, I've got a couple of other ideas for videos coming um, shortly, so hopefully I can pump those out. And again, if you guys have more comments, please um, share the information with me. I'd love to know what you guys are specifically looking for so I can help you going forward. Um, but again, thank you all so much for the support and I'll um, hopefully be posting a video soon. Thanks, bye.